соперника слабинку Друг друга каждый как родного брата уважает И этот брат в команде много so... We move into the super heavyweight division, 91 kilograms plus. There's no weight category for these boxers. Here's Luis Miguel Bravo, 21 years of age. 109 kilograms. Igor Blevaka. Чемпион Европы в возрасте до 22 лет. Призер чемпионата мира среди молодежи. 99 килограмм, 300 грамм. Егор Плевака. Play flex change of shots at the weigh-in. But here it will be for real. Пани и Табановы, до вашей уваги. Заключний поєдинок сьогоднішньої матчової зустрічі у суперважкій ваговій категорії. І у синій кутринку запрошується боксер, представляючий команду аргентинські кондори Луїс Мігель Браво! So Luis Miguel Bravo, 21 years of age, just a shade under six foot five inches tall, and this barrel-chested figure is a big punching super heavyweight. Experienced World Series boxing campaigner now, boxed in WSB for the Argentina Condors in season three. Three fight record, two wins. One loss ended up with a rank of 16 at the conclusion of season three. Ukrainsky Ataman Yegor Plevako! So it's the World Series boxing debut for Igor Plavarko, the ninth-ranked super heavyweight boxer in the world in Aiba Open Boxing. But this will be a brand new experience for the 23-year-old. Competed in the recent World Championships in Kazakhstan, competing in the European Championships in Minsk, Belarus. Just a shade under six foot four inches tall. Цей поєдинок обслуговують судді Альбіно Фоті, Італія, Вероніка Зджукс, Угорщина, Алішер Алтаєв, Казахстан, Клауш Бідеман, Данія, Хасан Зубі, Марокко, рефері у Рінзі, Маріуш Горний, Польща. У сьогоднішньому кутку ринку представник аргентинських кондорів, 21-річний боксер з Аргентини, зріз 194 сантиметри, вага 109 кілограмів 100 грамів. Чемпіон Аргентини 12-го та 13-го років. В активі аргентинського велетня три поєдинки у ВСБ, два з яких стали переможними. Луїс Мігель Браво! У червоному кутку рингу дебютант українських атаманів із Харкова. Йому 23 роки, зріст 192 сантиметри, вага 99 кілограмів 300 грамів. Призер чемпіонату України 12-го року, чемпіон Європи в категорії до 22 років, переможець престижного турніру в США «Золоті рукавички», Призер чемпіонату світу серед молоді Єгор Плевако! Дякую за мої коментарі.
Watch your head, watch your punch, no holding. Good luck. So all seconds and extras leave the ring ahead of this final bout in this Group A matchup between the Ukraine Ottomans Box. and Argentina Condors. And it is in the super heavyweight division, plus 91 kilograms. And the boxer representing the home team wearing blue trunks trimmed with yellow is making his World Series boxing debut tonight. That is Igor Plavarko, quarter-finalist at the 2013 European Championships and 2013 AIBA World Championships as well. On both occasions losing at the quarter-final stage and he's come out blazing on what is his World Series boxing debut. What a right hand! And immediately, referee Marius Gorni intervenes to issue a mandatory eight count because Luis Miguel Bravo, in his first outing of the season for the Argentina Condors, was clipped with a right hand and it stunned him into a statuesque pose. Can Plavarco capitalize and bring about an early stoppage here in this super heavyweight contest? The one loss on Bravo's record came by way of stoppage when he was stopped in the fourth round of week six in season three by the big punching boxer from the Azerbaijan Baku fires Haji Murtazaliev so is he perhaps vulnerable early doors having this his first contest of season four Remember, he's just undertaken the longest journey in Group A, coming from Buenos Aires all the way across to Kiev to compete here at the terminal in Brovary. It's the longest journey that any team can make here in Group A. Jet lag a factor. Are his legs still on the plane? Are they still at the airport? All of these questions now perhaps being posed by the man making his World Series boxing debut, Igor Plavarko, who buzzed his man early. Has he recovered sufficiently to get himself back in the contest in his first outing here on season four? Good left hand to the body by Plavarko. Another left hand sunk into the ribcage of Bravo by the boxer from Ukraine. Bravo trying to get his jab working. But perhaps has already conceded this opening round and will maybe take the strategy of trying to come out hard in rounds two onwards. And use the minute interval to get himself some respite. Doesn't appear to be too badly shaken up as the bell sounds to conclude round number one. But there can be no doubt that Plavarko opened the contest and landed that right hand and immediately Marius Gorni was on it in a flash arcing right hook look how his feet stopped in his tracks right on the butt and the referee right on hand to intervene and issue a standing eight count 10-8 for two of the judges using the 10 point bus system 10-9 for judge A Five judges seated ringside, 10 point must system in effect. With a ramrod left, just straightening into the face of Bravo. So into the second round we go. Clavaco looking to maintain the dominance that he was able to establish in the opening round. Standing wide-legged in center ring, making Bravo take the long way around. He'd rather pour in with his left hand, which we saw from that replay in between rounds one and two. What a pile-driving left Clavaco possesses. Good left hand over the top from Bravo, and he's really swinging hard now, contrasting styles. And you just see perhaps a sign of distress that Clavaco is blinking in a manner that he wasn't exhibiting in round number one. As he's perhaps troubled by the 
What a languid, flailing punches holding. that Bravo is delivering. No holding. A complete contrast. The piston shots that are being muscled, piston straight shots that are being muscled out by Provarco. And there's another right hand that wins its way over the top from Bravo. So Provarco initiates a clinch holding. and holds on at close quarters with that left hand. Bravo has it back at range, beats his man to the punch again. So whatever was said during that interval Stop. Stop. has really spurred on Stop. Luis Miguel Bravo. And perhaps most importantly, he's recovered from that quarter of a right hook that he endured in the opening round. And here's one of his own, a right cross, right on the button. And Plavarco looking a little bit disheveled as he's walked backwards to the ropes. Bravo demonstrating superior hand speed as he got through the right uppercut. Both of these boxers are similar height. Shade under six foot five for Bravo, just under six foot four for Plavarco. But Plavarco has been beaten to the punch consistently here during the course of the second round. And the way these two boxers are landing, well, it may not go to the fifth and final round. The contest could well finish before the final bell. Still continuing to blink rather furiously is Plavarco. That a tick that has appeared here in round number two. Actually, we really didn't have too much to think about during the course of the opening round. Good left hook to end that exchange from Bravo. Contrasting physiques, contrasting styles of boxing. The Bravo went for the right uppercut that didn't really get through. Good left jab from Plavarco. Right hand was evaded by Plavarco on that occasion. Really pulverizing left jab pushed out by the Ukrainian again just a few moments ago. So it's untidy on the inside. And what a second round that was. Keenly contested. And the punch of the round undoubtedly landed by this man. Luis Miguel Bravo, shaken up in the opening round, took a standing count. That was a good right hand from Plavarco. But early on, in round number two, make no mistake, seeing the Czech right hand again from the man from the Ukraine. But the best punch of the round was landed by this man. So Bravo taking the second round. Second round. For one of the three judges, remember he was scored 10-8 for two of the judges after taking that round standing count three. in the opening round. So he's still trailing. But an altogether much more competitive second round as Bravo opened round number three with two right hands. The second one has put Plavarco onto rubbery legs. He immediately initiates a clinch and he's just waiting for his senses to return. Two cracking right crosses from Luis Miguel Bravo have put Plavarco in considerable distress. He was beaten to the punch consistently for my money during the course of round number two. And here in round number three, Bravo has, Bravo has produced Stop. the same trick again. Two beautiful right crosses, and the second one caused Plavarco's legs to betray him, and he immediately held on, just as he's doing now, to allow his head to clear and to regain control of his faculties. But Bravo appears to be a man inspired and encouraged by the success that he's having with that right hand. And while he's covering up, Plavarco is doing very little punching of his own minute gone here in round number three a brilliant start to the round once more from bravo plavarco now getting to work with the jab that's three times he's pushed it out from that shoulder and it's just disrupting the flow that bravo was attempting to build again plavarco Break. wincing rather Break. in uncomfortable fashion at close quarters we no holding hope that's just a characteristic rather than a distress signal. 
Good left hand from Travato, and again, both super heavyweights swinging hard. Big! Step big! Halfway through the third round, Travato continuing to blink furiously. Left hook in a flaming exchange between the boxes. Bravo encouraging to come on in and then clips him with a right hand of his own. Another left hook success from Travato. Encouraged by the crowd, he continues to blink furiously as he walks his way forward. Travarko really does appear to be in some distress. I hope that he's okay. He's continuing to compete. Referee Gorny from Poland keeping an eye on proceedings. That's just a little bit concerning. The facial tick being exhibited by Gorny, which I didn't see during the course of his Aiba boxing contest in the European Championships and the World Championships in Kazakhstan. Not to the extent that it's being exhibited now. Inside the closing 30 seconds of this third round, which has been an all-action third round, Plavarko rocked considerably. And then got through with a right hand of his own. Bravo looking just a little bit disheveled. These super heavyweights producing a, ter a terrific hard-punching bout. Right hand from Bravo gets through. Oh, Left hand just skimmed over the top. What a third round between these two boxes in the super heavyweight division. All action stuff from the biggest man in World Series boxing. That was the second right hand. He landed one just a couple of moments before and you saw how the legs buckled and the knees dipped of Igor Plavarko. He did well not to hit the deck after receiving such terrific punches from Luis Miguel Bravo. There was a left hook that sent his eyes into orbit of Luis Miguel Bravo. Hard punches being landed by both boxes. Testament to their resolve and their conditioning. And still, the judges favor Plavarco in unanimous fashion. Stop, time. Bravo considering himself a little bit unfortunate there. Goals, goals, please. He started the round very brightly indeed, as the excess petroleum jelly is going to have to be removed by Julio Cesar Garcia. Box. Extra duty up the steps for the veteran head coach. And living in Argentina for 37 years and spent 36 years of that time no as day. a coach to boxers in Argentina. Big. Stop. So we're into Big. round four. Slovako on his World Series boxing debut, leading on the no scorecards. No but he knows that he's in a real fight. Does the ninth ranked Aiba boxer in the world, ninth ranked Aiba open boxer in the world, take on a man who competed during the course of season three, posting a record of two wins and one loss, ended up ranked 16 in the world, did Luis Miguel Bravo. At the conclusion of season three, he's making his season four bow here tonight. No holding. During the course of round three, while well, the right hand he landed really did seem to have Travarco in some trouble. But Travarco weathered the storm, came back well, and had Nunes on the back foot to conclude the round. Right uppercut from Bravo wasn't too far away. Stop! Stop! Head up. Right hand from Pavarco just to conclude that exchange. Sweeping hooks being exchanged by both boxes. Holding. Good left hand from Pavarco. Bravo took it well and stayed in the pocket and continued to fire Break. punches of his own. Step back. Break. Stop. Stop. Inside the final minute of this fifth and final round. Good right hand from Plavarko during the course of that previous exchange. 
And he may appear slightly mechanical, slightly ponderous, Igor Plavarko. But he packs plenty of punch. And he's as game as they come. In stark contrast, Luis Miguel Bravo. Not the most chiseled of athletes, but very fluid indeed. Very well conditioned from the shot that he's been able to absorb tonight. He takes another big right hand and just has to retreat momentarily. Plavarko gets through the right hook again. And all of a sudden, Bravo is on the retreat and looking for breathing room. Another right hand gets through and another one. Right hand success repeatedly from Igor Plavarko. And it brings about the Six, second standing seven, count. Eight, that is told box. for Luis Miguel Bravo. Stop. The closing bell sounds. And what a contest that was. What a round that was. Round number four, the second standing count endured by Luis Miguel Bravo because there was repeated right hand success during the course of a rally. There was a left from Plavarco. Both boxers looking to exchange at this point. But later on in the round, Plavarco got through with repeated right hands. Bravo became increasingly ragged, had to engage reverse gear. That was a corker of a punch right on the button and the referee again right on the spot to issue a standing eight count so 10-9 the scorecard using the 10 point must system and even though he took a standing count it wasn't a thoroughly dominant round for Plavarco because Bravo had his moments as well so we move into the fifth and final round Plavarco in control on the scorecard, but the way these two men have been trading leather, his concentration is going to have to remain absolute on the task at hand in the boxer in front of him. Because it's, it's apparent that both of these boxers have the power to bring about a premature end to this contest. Provaka with good success with the jab. Again muscling out that straight left hand straight into the face in ramrod fashion of Luis Miguel Bravo. Step back. Good left jab again Stop. from Plavarco. Box. He's just worn for punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove rather than the knuckle part of the glove. Bravo trying a right hand over the top of his own. No holding. And in addition to the thunder that has come from the right hand in particular of Igor Plavarko, the jab has been a really impressive ref weapon for the Ukrainian debutant here tonight. Kept Bravo at bay on occasion, particularly when he was going through his own difficult Break. moments. Break. Break. Didn't just hold on when it got Stop. back to Stop. distance and mid and long range. Pavarka used the jab to terrific effect just to discourage the forward advance of Bravo as he did on that occasion there. Good left hook on the inside from Pavarka. And just get the sense that the man from Ukraine is getting a better of this round and then right on cue he gets through with another right hand but he's warned for punching incorrectly that intervention just perhaps giving Bravo pressure seconds for his head to clear if he was shook up by that shot oh what a right hand from Provoco again that has been a really profitable punch Throughout the Six, course of this contest, seven, standing eight. count in round one for Bravo, Box. standing count in round four, now a standing count in round five, and each time it has been a trusty right hand of Igor Plavarko that has caused the referee to intervene. Stop. Left hand to the body, but just worn to keep his punches okay. up, is Plavarko. Box. So the 10 second clapper sounds here in round number five. And what a contest we have had here in World Series Boxing Group 8 action. The super heavyweight fight was an absolute thriller.
two big super heavyweights letting the punches go and there with the right hand again arcing shot over the top and rocking bravo solidly to bring about the third standing count that he has received during the course of the contest and Plavaka used that shot to really good effect throughout the course of that contest third standing count told on the man from Argentina and it has to be a successful World Series boxing debut for Igor Plavarko quarter finalist in both the World Championships and European Championships from earlier this year eliminated by the eventual bronze medalist Eric Pfeiffer of Germany he boxes for Germany in the German outfit he went on to get the bronze medal at the World Champs Almaty Kazakhstan, Viktor Zuyev, who eliminated him in the European Championship quarterfinals, went on to get his third European Championship silver. To add to the ones that he won in 2004 and 2010. Here's the verdict. Judge A, 1545. Judge B, 4945. Judge C, 50-44, and the winner by unanimous decision, the red corner, Yago Plevako! So Igor Plevako makes a winning start to his World Series boxing career and makes it a 5-0 whitewash courtesy of the home team, the Ukraine Ottomans, here in the terminal in Brabati. Dominant display produced by the home team. And in the final analysis, it is a shutout win for last year's finalists here in Group A. Dominant display from all of the Ukraine Ottomans. Lazarev in the tightest bout of all, a split decision victory over the debutant Baron.